Hello everyone, I am Robbie Clark. I watch a lot of movies. I buy a lot of movies. I don't watch all the movies I buy. Of the roughly 400 movies and television shows that I own on my shelf, there are 137 that I have either only seen once or haven't seen at all. In fact, some of them are still pretty airtight. <laughs> That's what she said. There they are. See them? Right there. So, today, I got my popcorn, I got my coke, and today I'm watching Sleepers. Okay, let's review a movie. Whoa. This should not have been my first one. I, that. All right, so Sleepers is, is four boys. They play a prank, it goes wrong, and it changes their entire life. But I just, oh, fuck you, Kevin Bacon. Not Kevin Bacon, the character. He plays a guy called Noakes. It, I, it's, man, it, okay, the movie is well done. The movie is well done. It's a well done movie. That's, there's like, that's all there is to it. Like the movie, I read some reviews online. A lot of people say, watch the first half and make up your own. One of them said, uh, compelling movie, but lacks a serious moral discussion. It's not a movie's job to hold a moral discussion. It's just not. So quit being a pompous ass. No, this movie is, <sighs> dude, that's a rough hang. Fuck you, Kevin Bacon. Clearly you never see anything. Duh, who would want to? Perverts, that's who. But it's it's done so well that you I in my in my seat, dude, I was cringing. I was ugh. Oftentimes we say stuff like, oh, he's the only actor or she's the only actress that could have played that role or else the movie wouldn't work. This is one of the first movies I've seen outside of the superhero genre. Let's be real, those are my movies. I'm not sure anybody else could have directed this and made it as compelling as it was. It, it was, it, I mean, Barry Levinson does such a good job directing this film that you get slapped across the face with flashbacks. There's a moment where all four of the boys as adults are in the courtroom with one particular witness and they're all playing different roles in the room and you feel like they're all, ugh, it's hard to watch. It's hard to digest. Great movie. Highly recommend it. Uh, like, 8 out of 10, probably. A couple of flaws, like a, a little bit of bad acting. Not much in the way of bad dialogue, though. That's usually my go-to, because a lot of times scenes or conversations in movies are written in ways that people wouldn't usually talk, and there's none of that in this one. This was all very real, but some bad acting moments. Uh, God, fuck Kevin Bacon. And the friend of mine that introduced this movie to me told me I would want to kick Kevin Bacon in the nuts forevermore. And he is not wrong. It's going to sound really weird. One of my favorite shots in the movie is uh, the night that these four boys... Okay, so they play a prank. They steal a hot dog cart. The hot dog cart falls downstairs and kills a dude. It's not really a, a spoiler. Whatever. But they wind up in a reform school for boys called Wilkinson. And Noak is one of the guards. And he's just... A dick right away as guards are in these movies there's enough in there when you first realize what he's up to when you first realize who he is as a as a person and you, you just you hate him but when the four boys are released there's this shot of these guards walking them down a hallway and the boys just look dead they look dead inside and it's, it's a moment of wonderful acting. It's a moment of wonderful directing. It's a moment of, God, I felt gross. I just felt gross. And I love, I mean, it's it's weird, but I love when movies elicit that reaction. It happened to me with, uh, with Joker. It happened to me with Invisible Man. And now it happened to me in Sleepers. And, and I already said it was directed by Barry Levinson. The screenplay was written by Barry Levinson, based on the novel by Lorenzo Carcaterra. I don't know. Am I saying that right? Probably not. Uncultured swine. And the cast is stacked, bro. The cast is, uh, this is a, a, a fantasy draft of a cast if I've, I've ever seen one. Kevin Bacon, Robert De Niro, Minnie Driver, Dustin Hoffman, Bruno Kirby, Brad Pitt, Iron Man's dad, the guy from Burn Notice. It's a wonderful cast. It's a wonderful movie. It's very hard to watch, very hard to digest. Had I known that the movie was that deep, probably wouldn't have made it my first one. These are supposed to be entertaining and not gruesome. Highly recommend. 8 out of 10. Watch it. And the last scene where the four guys are together again is kind of heartbreaking. There are some movies that I'll only watch once. There are a lot of movies that I will watch once un unless someone hasn't seen it or it, it just... 
This is one of those movies I'll watch really rarely, is what I'll tell you. I, I have to think now it's in my top 10 favorite movies of all time, after just one viewing. Really good movie. Check out Sleepers. Great cast. Wonderfully directed. Wonderfully written. I am Robbie Clark. This is Movies. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you're at uh, Cinema Soapbox. Check us out, cinemasoapbox.net. The Cinema Soapbox podcast, available on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Pocket Cast Radio, I think. I don't know. We're everywhere. We prefer to use Spotify. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I am Robbie Clark. And also, I am Robbie Clark on Facebook. I'm everywhere. So thank you for watching Movies. I'm probably going to watch another one because I, don't, that's, I need to see something happy. Oh yeah, shout out to Frank Medrano for his wonderful performance of Fat Mancho. Like, yeah, that <laughs> that was that was some needed comic relief in that whole thing.